this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Bayer Dynamic MMX100. This is one of the more affordable studio-grade gaming headsets from Bayer Dynamic, and this comes in at around €99 Euros or $99. And it is an interesting headset with, as you can see, an uh, interesting design that's very comparable to the MMX150. This is an unboxing and review video where I'm going to be using the microphone from this headset to do the entirety of the voiceover so you can already hear what the microphone sounds like and in this video I'm going to show you what the headset looks like coming out of the box talk about my experiences with it and show off the highlights and lowlights now this is available in two color variants so as well as the one that you can see here you can also purchase it in black as you'll see it has a removable microphone and that is actually one of the selling points because as you can hear it's actually a pretty good microphone it does pick up a little bit of background noise if you crank up the gain too high I'll talk more about that later on but it is also fantastic in terms of the delivery of sound that it captures and the fact that it's removable means obviously you could use these as headphones now they have a 3.5 mil connection there's actually two cables included in the box in this little accessories container you have a 1.2 meter 3.5 mil connection with a four pin jack connector that's designed to connect to consoles and controllers other devices like that so it's reasonably short and then on the left you also have a longer two meter split cable which has a microphone and headphone connection on it that you can use on pc i've been using a mixture of both during my testing because i've had it plugged into my audio mixer and the go xlr but also directly directly into the PC as well. And as you see, the headset has a nice solid aluminium headband inside the frame and very nice twistable and turnable ear cups. You also note that there's some quite thick memory foam padding and some faux leather on both the ear cups and on the headband. So it's designed to give you some good comfort. You have a volume wheel and mic mute button on the left hand side and the ear cups twist off really easily as well. Now, like the Bayer Dynamic MMX150, the design's quite similar here. They have round ear cups, and ear cups are certainly one of the things that I don't like about the headset. Unfortunately, they are reasonably sized in terms of depth, but for me, they're just not quite big enough, so they squash the ears over time. This is obviously going to vary depending on the size and shape of your ear, but for me, I found them a bit uncomfortable in long periods of use, but it's far from the most uncomfortable that I've used. However, what I will note, and as you'll see, is they're reasonably sized, and because of the faux leather and good cushioning, they block out a lot of external noise, which is definitely a bonus because my wife is constantly on Teams calls and never shuts up, so I get to block out a lot of the noise from her while I'm gaming or doing other things like listening to music. And if you crank the sound up, then you can really block out a lot of that noise, which is fantastic. These have 40 mil drivers on them, and they are also capable of delivering a really loud sound. So they go really loud, and they also have a really rich sound to them. So they've got a good bass delivery, powerful bass, and a nice comfortable sound. Good positional audio as well, so I've been using these mostly for FPS and for driving games, and I found them very enjoyable for that, and also just for listening to music and other things. The bass delivery is really good, but also have a really good range on them, and really good for this price point. You'll also see a close-up look at the design. It's got a nice, solid headband design to it. it. has a good build quality. This is a reasonably affordable headset, reasonably priced, and yet delivers in a lot of different areas. Good sounding microphone, nice fit, reasonable comfort, good passive noise cancellation, blocking out a lot of external noise thanks to those memory foam ear cushions. My only complaint is they're not large enough and that round shape is just not comfortable for my ear, but if you're not fussed about round ear cups, then obviously that won't be a problem. And the other thing is, as you saw, they're removable, so it should be easy enough to swap out. The cables are also detachable as long as the microphone, so you can easily swap out those things if and when you need to, if they need to be replaced, or simply if you want to switch between using it on PC and using it on console or other device with that single connection. So there's quite a few things to like here. Very nice spare dynamic accents on the headband, subtle on the ear cups as well. Obviously you can see the MMX 100 markings on here and some subtle understated biodynamic logos as well. And the little orange cues too 
on the things like the volume wheel and the mic mute button. Now one thing to talk about the mic mute, there is no side tone here so you have a passive noise cancellation from the ear cups but you can't hear yourself through the microphone which is obviously a bit of a shame but that is just standard with this sort of setup and that is a bit of a downside because obviously with blocking out a lot of external noise it means you can't hear yourself so you might end up shouting or talking too loudly. Now I found that you can boost the microphone in Windows so it boosts about 10 decibels. You can crank it up 30 decibels if necessary but then I found that it picks up a lot more background noise so I would avoid that if you can help it just tweak the settings a little bit until they meet your personal preference. Obviously you can move the microphone around as well and one thing I found there is if you get it too close to your mouth it does obviously pick up a little bit of wind noise but it's a good stretchy headband you can see it here on my Pac-Man light which is obviously not really designed to wear headphones but I like to demonstrate that it does go nice and large and I'll show you in a second what it looks like on my head so you can get an idea but generally the comfort is okay in terms of the way it sits on your head the way it clamps to the ears and the head in general my only complaint really is the size of the ear cups and here I am with the Bayer Dynamic MMX100 on the head. And as you can see, this is what the headset looks like on my head. And you can see the position of the microphone here. So you can see it's not terribly close. I could potentially move it closer and then put the gain down to make it sound a little bit nicer. But you will pick up a lot of the P sounds. So I do pick up some of those already. Now one of the things that I haven't mentioned that is a problem, so I do find this annoying, is this cable. This is a braided cable. It's a nice long cable with a 2 meter split cable, so it's got quite a lot of length to it. But because of this sort of finish on it, it does lead to some sound that you do hear. So if it rubs on clothing, you can really hear it, not only in the ear cup, but also in the microphone which is obviously not ideal now you're not likely to sit there rubbing it on your clothes like that but I find that just simply turning my head so if I turn to talk to my wife she's on the other side of me I turn to look out of a window I turn to grab something or if you're really animated when you're looking at your screen for example and you're moving around looking at multiple screens which is fine that it makes a lot of noise and it nags at me and I find it a bit annoying and the fact is you can actually hear that easier than you can hear your own voice when you've got the sort of passive noise cancellation from the ear cushion so that's one small annoyance so I only have, really have two complaints and that is basically that the ear cushions aren't quite big enough because you can see that my ear just about fits in there they're reasonably deep so I don't feel like my ears pushing against the drivers too much maybe a little bit but it's more the pressure on the top and bottom and the other one is this cable which is just unfortunately a bit loud. And I do have that mic mute button at the back. One of the things that I found with that is actually that you can still pick up some audio even when it's muted. It goes very quiet but for some reason it's still capturing audio so if I just do it now and talk really loud. is not ideal um, but otherwise a very nice headset reasonably nice looking very good sound excellent sounding microphone and a lot to like about it for the money this has been the provoke prawn thanks for watching